What is up everybody? This is me, the ITK HQ, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best jailbreak tweaks of 2015. So guys, the first jailbreak tweak we've been taking a look at is going to be double tap to sleep. Now double tap to sleep allows you to well, just tap on your home screen to put your device to sleep. Now uh, again, on an iPhone 6 and 6, uh, 6 Plus, it's a little difficult to reach for the uh, power button. So again, all you have to do is just double tap on your home screen to uh, put your device to sleep. So this is double tap to sleep, it's free, go and check it out. Next we'll be taking a look at this untethered Hey Siri. Now untethered Hey Siri allows you to, well, it just did it right there, allows you to invoke Siri uh, through that hot phrase, which is Hey Siri, um, you know, without actually having a device being uh, tethered to your computer or to a power outlet. So again, all you have to say is, hey Siri, hey Siri, there you go, and I've got the my Siri invoked right there. So again, all you have to do in is that once you install this tweak, you go to general, you go to Siri, and I've got two options, I've got while charging, I've got always. So you just tap always, and there you go, we have got hey Siri command. Uh, open there you go for you so you don't have to have your device uh, tethered to a charging source every time next I've got slender so this is the third tweak and slender is a great tweak again it is free and it's got multiple uh, effects and gives you these really good swiping animations as you guys can see so when you're swiping through we've got different animations again you can go through uh, all of these effects on the settings panel so you go to slender and I've got hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh well tons of uh effects not hundreds of them but they're quite good amount of uh, effects right there and again i've got so let's try this card one out so there you go so that's another one so this is slender it's free go get it next i've got reach app now reach app is an amazing amazing tweak now right now it's still in the public beta mode so it's not out uh, as a fiat for like publicly so you have to install it uh, through a repository I will leave the repository link down below in the description from where you guys can download this but reach app enables uh, true split you know, screen multitasking on iOS devices now for this to work you need to have uh, another tweak which is reach all uh, kind of enabled or installed on your device and this is only for those devices that don't have reachability by default so basically any device other than iPhone 6 or and 6 plus needs to have reach all uh, first you know installed and then you would be able to use the reach app um, tweak so as you guys can see if I double press or triple press my home button you guys can see I've got the reachability enabled now with the same thing I can uh, invoke a reach app as well so for example I am I know I'm in Instagram alright so I'm an Instagram and I want to well, let's actually go ahead and invoke a reachability there you go now I've got settings right here. The settings was the app that I opened up previously. So I've got that right here. So let me um, open up Tweetbot, all right? And I can just invoke reachability again. And now I've got Instagram and Tweetbot right there. So I can go through Instagram and I can go through uh, my Twitter feed as well. How cool is that? So guys, this is the true multitasking that we all want from iOS and here we have it now uh, again you can also resize the windows as well so guys uh, this is reach app it is a great great tweak again it is free right now uh, but is again it's still in the beta mode so it doesn't really work that well but I think you guys will love it go and check it out download it and I will leave the full you know, tutorial down below which will guide you through how to add the repository and how to how to download reach app next I've got slices now slices is another great tweak it's for two dollars but allows you to uh, maintain or kind of manage uh, multiple accounts uh, on Instagram or snapchat or anything like that so for example 
if you want if you have two accounts I've got two accounts I've got total exploration and I've got the ITKHQ so um, I can actually manage both of these accounts well first initially I have to log out from one and then log in back log back in with another account or with other credentials but with this this allows you to when you tap Instagram again I've got the ITKHQ and total exploration right there so I can tap in for example in total exploration and this will log me into my total exploration account again I go back I can say I want to get into my the ITKHQ uh, page there you go I'm back in my the ITKHQ um, account if you go over here um, to slices you can go to applications and I've got Instagram and then I can create another slice I can name that slice so I can say I don't know just test create slice and now I go to Instagram I tap on test and this will take me to the login screen so I can log in over here and uh, and that will add another entry to the options right there so this is slices it's a great tweet all right, guys. The next one is going to be iAppLock. iAppLock allows you to well password protect your apps. Well, with this iAppLock, you basically can uh, put a password, uh, password kind of protection to your app. So I can go over here. I have this password um, right here, so I can just write my password in, and there you go. I'm back. I'm right here in the mail app. Again, I can do the same thing with photos as well. And now I can access my photos. So this is iAppLock. Uh, it's a pretty great tweak. Again, you can go in. You can add other uh, accounts as well, uh, other apps as well. We have got Dropbox, Mail, Photos, but I can add more as well. And we're also able to, um, you know, add, have passion locks as well if you don't like password locks. Uh, next, I've got Alm Palm. It's a difficult name to pronounce, uh, but this essentially is a screenshot manager. So if you tap this, as you guys can see, I just took a screenshot. It gives me options right here: save to uh, photo library, copy to clipboard, upload to um, upload to Imgur, and share. So I can say copy to clipboard, and now that screenshot has been um, has now been copy to the clipboard and I can then again use it on messages or wherever I want so this is uh, album poem it's a difficult name to pronounce uh, but this is essentially what it basically does you've got all the other options as well and you're also able to make a custom album for where it can store your uh, screenshots but this is Alan Poem. it's a great screenshot manager again it doesn't save every screenshot you take you can just kind of manage, manage it as well then I've got Safari Download Plus Safari Download Plus allows you to well download um, stuff from the Safari uh, I don't know why this uh, feature is not available still um, by default so I'm here in mp 3 scutcom and I can just download this by holding and then again I can just download this target and it's going to go ahead and start downloading this and uh, well there you go so it's downloading right now over here as you guys can see and if you go back I've got a dedicated app as well for Safari Downloader and over here you can uh, just start playing the music alright uh, so I can start playing the music as well which I'm not gonna do uh, and you also have the ability to import this music into music uh, into the music app and other apps as well so this is why download plus you can download YouTube uh, uh, videos as well next I've got Tage. Now Tage is kinda like a multitasking uh, tweak and basically you can do multitasking uh, through uh, gestures. So if I go over to Tage, you guys can see I've got uh, multiple options over here. So the first option is going to be to close any app. So I can just close any app by just swiping from the middle and just swiping up. Uh, up. Now I can also swipe up and hold and this will invoke the app switcher. Now I can swipe from the right hand side to again invoke control center and I can then swipe uh, over here to quickly switch between uh, apps as well in my app switcher and then I've got the ability to um, swipe again uh, so I can also kind of switch between the applications as well this is a feature which is not working for me on my iPad mini right now uh, but you can also do that as well so you can switch apps you have the quick switches so this is like this you can quickly switch between apps and then we have the uh, again you can then simply 
close the app just like this. So this is a page again it's a great tweak but then there's also an alternative which I'll be talking about and that is going to be our last top 10 tweak and that is going to be Oxo 3. Now, so Oxo 3 kind of does the same thing as you guys can see we have got multi center we have got quick switch we have got hot corners now I've done a full video on this as well but I still think it's a great tweak uh, so basically uh, if you do this you are able to have your quick uh, your control center and your app switcher here as well then you have the quick switcher just like in Tage so if you've got all the icons over here you can just kind of go through them so I can go to Tweetbot like that and then we have the ability to close the app just by swiping from the bottom uh, right hand corner so this is Oxo 3 so again Oxo 3 and Tage they're pretty much the same this one costs three dollars Tage cost two dollars but let me know which you guys like prefer Tage or Oxo 3 I think both of them are great so guys these are going to be my top 10 best jailbreak tweaks of 2015 now more videos will be coming on you know jailbreak tweaks as well and I hope you guys enjoyed this particular uh, video. If you did, guys, just comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel uh, for more jailbreak related stuff as well. And I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Peace out.